honestly, I will not respond to this if not for the sons of the prophet who are talking about it. I was preaching here and somebody else who called me. And I said something which I stand by. You see, I'm not somebody who says something and when everywhere is shaking, I will now change my mouth. Because, no. In fact, when everywhere is shaking, I will amplify what I said more so that everywhere can shake more. I'm not a coward. I said something on this altar. And I repeat it. I stand by it. I was talking about those who preach grace that once you are saved, you are saved. When I said I preached all of those things before until I lost a friend. I've told you the story. I lost a friend who was also a preacher of grace. And I found out what's going on. So I went to go and pray. And the Lord told me that you are preaching Paul. You are not preaching me. That you focus on Corinthians. Who wrote the letter to Corinthians? Who wrote to Thessalonians? So the only dispute scripture is Hebrews. Today, they don't know it was Paul that wrote Hebrews or not. So, God told me, he said, the teachings of Paul are not from the lips of Jesus. They are from Paul's lips. They are the revelation of Christ that Paul had. But Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the gospel, we are the account of things Jesus said and did. And he said to me that my priority and focus should be on the life of Jesus. What Paul said is secondary. I can learn. Paul actually learned based on what he was told. He wasn't there. I don't know if you are following what I'm talking about. So I'm going to focus on what Jesus said more than what Paul said. If Jesus said something and I look at Paul and what Paul said is contrary to what Jesus said, I will not take Paul's own. I'll take Jesus' own. And somebody says, oh, he said, Paul is not preaching Christ. If you are, see, I'm responsible for what I said, but I'm not responsible for how you understand it. Even Peter was advising us that we should be careful of the letters of Paul. Peter that knew Paul was advising you about Paul. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 16. Start from verse 15. Give us the message translation. Interpret our master's special restraint for which, what it is. For what it is. Salvation. Our good brother Paul who was given so much, much wisdom in these matters. Verse 16. Refers in his letters all he has written unto you essentially the same thing. Some things Paul writes are difficult to understand. Is it, is it your Bible? Did I put it there? Some things Paul writes are difficult to understand. Irresponsible people who don't know what they are talking about twist them whichever way. They do it to the rest of the scripture, destroying themselves as they do it. Are you seeing that? Most people don't understand that Paul preached grace, that we, we don't preach judgment. But the same Paul said in Thessalonians 1 verse 6, it is a righteous thing for God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. It's a righteous thing. So let's stay on the scriptures and forget what I said. Let's go to scriptures. It is my response to that nonsense that's trending online. I said it. I stand by it. I will, I will choose what Jesus said over what Paul said any day. What Jesus said is priority. What Paul said is secondary. Paul was preaching his revelation of Jesus. It wasn't Jesus that was talking. Only three times Jesus spoke to Paul was when he appeared to him. Paul, Paul, why persecuted thou me? Secondly, when he said, lest you be exalted by the abundance of revelation, he sent an, a, 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 an affliction to buffet him. And when he asked him why, he said, my grace is sufficient for you. And several times when Paul was on the journey, he was to have a shipwreck. And God told, told him, he said, you shall get to the other destination. Those were direct messages from God. But every other teaching of Paul was his revelation of Jesus. It wasn't Jesus talking. It was Paul that wrote the letters to those churches. Do you understand me?